Hello. Sorry, I look so tired. It's been a rough couple of days. We have a package here. I'm not sure what it is. Um, Matt had a tea review. So he, he and his wife are going to send me some more tea. This doesn't look like it came from them, but might, you, know, you never know. Let's see. Oh! It's a very, it's a very professional looking package. I think it is. Oh my. We have the Oh, Tiesta tea, blueberry wild child, blueberry hibiscus herbal tea has apple, hibiscus, elderberries, rose hip, natural flavors, pomegranate bits, corn flowers, and blueberries. Mm. We're going to have to try that. We're going to add that to my list of tea and pajamas. Ooh, a gift. Uh oh, a gift. You guys, thank you. <laughs> You didn't have to do that. I thought you were just going to go shopping and do it. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Stephen and Maria at Mad Hatter Tea Reviews. It's just, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Except for you did say you were going to give me a birthday present, so I should be expecting it. <laughs> That's right. You did say you were going to give me a birthday present. Ah. You guys are so much. And this one's Tiesta Tea, Fireside Spice, Mulled Wine, Fruit Tea, Hibiscus Cinnamon Apple Pieces, Orange Slices, Cinnamon Sticks, Orange Peel, Cloves, Natural Flavor, and Rose Hips. And, ooh, Loose Leaf Tea, Made Easy. These are those bags that they use. That, uh, if you ever watch Mad Hatter Tea Review, he has uh, these little things that look like tea bags. That's these. What I usually use is something like, where is he? Oh. I usually use something like this. And then I had the TARDIS uh, tea infuser, but it got, the TARDIS got lost in another dimension while I was moving. Um... This is neat. Step one, scoop loose leaf tea into the filter opening. Place filter into your cup of hot water. Remove the filter after steeping is complete. And it has tea types and temperature and steeping times. Send a thank you note. Scan using the Amazon app or visit. Well, I'm not going to have to send a thank you note because I'm going to say thank you right now. Thank you. I I know you said you were going to send some tea, and then you mentioned you were going to send me some for my birthday, and it totally spaz out, and then you read my, well, read, watched my video, and left me a message saying that the tea should be here by today. And... Sorry, this has been one big whoa. But again, uh, yeah, that's quite a video you just got to see. <laughs> um, I will try these teas. And how many minutes is it? I can't read it. Because it's white on white. is on my refrigerator. It's 3.57. Maybe we can try one. If we boil some water, let's see if we can pause this without. Okay, we're back. Okay, um, I don't know if I can show you the tea. The way they do on tea. Can you see that? I can't tell. You can see there's a nice reddish pink. And I'll put this off to the side in something. This one is Fireside Spice, the mold wine flavor. Mm. 
I may not have let it steep long enough. I'm not sure. I'm still having to learn loose leaf tea. I, I, can, I can taste the cinnamon and hibiscus right up front. But I'm not really tasting the everything else right at this minute. Okay, yeah, the rose hips and um, maybe the cloves. My my nose is kind of stuffy. It's been cold outside the last few days, and hopefully I'm not getting a cold. But right now what I'm tasting is mainly the hibiscus, the cinnamon, and the rose hips. I will give this uh, another visit. At some point, uh, when we do tea and pajamas, I think I will make that a semi-regular thing. You know, one of those things to do when we chat, if I want to keep you updated on what's going on in the Nickelback abode, um, and there aren't any hauls or other things to upload, then we'll have a little chat. We'll sit. Uh, I guess the dining room is a good area. I will pull the chair in there and the drink table until we get the dining room table and then we'll go back to doing dining room table videos and I will do like I was doing with the, with, when I had the curtain at the last place. I will pull the table out far enough. Hopefully there's enough room to do that because I'm not sure how big this table is going to be. And the dining room space is about the same but I didn't have this breakfast bar last time. At my last place. Well, actually, my kitchen counter was in about this spot. So we'll figure something out. We will make it work. We will do that, and then we'll have the my the my homemade homemade bar sign, the bat wreath, and Donna's sunken treasure stained glass and found out found glass to look at as the backdrop for now, and then hopefully. At some point, maybe we can use the skull and bat curtain in the living room or the bar signs in the living room. This is like warming my head, head space up and I'm tasting a little bit more. But the, to me though, uh, right now, being a little stuffy, the cinnamon, like I said, the cinnamon hibiscus and rose hips are the most prominent flavor. I'm not tasting the sweet stuff right now because I'm kind of, like I said, my mouth, my nose is kind of stuffy. But I wanted to try one of these for you while we have the video running. And yes, this is one of the mugs I got at the thrift store in Ripon, set of four for five dollars, I believe it was. Not goth, but it's Halloween, and I use the two together. Um, let's see. Yes, my cable equipment came a couple of days ago. I have to motivate myself to sit down and do that, so we can. So we need me if I can have internet. Um, I do, do at some point, like I said, want to be able to edit videos on my computer. I'll figure that out eventually, but I'm also afraid that I'm going to fall into a rabbit hole of hyper-focusing to where I will totally forget about everything else because I tend to lose track of time easily. And anyway, so yeah, the cable stuff's here, uh, bed frame's here, um... Mattress will be coming soon. Entertainment center, not sure when that's coming. It'll get here when it gets here, if it gets here. Um, I think that's it for now. Um, I'm going to see if I can find some more tops. When I go shopping tomorrow, um, to spread out my wardrobe, work wardrobe a bit. And today I've got my one of my lace bottom blouses on. The one that I prefer 
which is actually the one I got. I think it's the one I got from Target. Or was it Ross? I forget. I think it was Target. That has actual lace and it's um got the back like that with the those looks like vents. As opposed to the ones, the chenille one, which I've got at Walmart. It's nice, but you can see it's because of the way it's knit, you can kind of me being a little heavy, you can see through it, and I'm not pleased with that. I can't really wear it to work because you can see through it. But I still do have it. I'm just not going to wear it that often, and I won't wear it to work. And anyway, with the sweater, I have my uh, Scarlet Darkness bloomers on and my Hot Topic sneakers with the skulls. Now I can taste the cloves. And the orange peel. Yeah, once my sinuses started to open up, I was able to tap, taste more of the flavors. I love this tea. If I can get a second cup out of those, let me see if I can get a cup I can get out of this. Ooh. There's a little story on the back here. It says, from childhood friends to a wild weekend in Prague, we never thought tea would be our calling. It was in, it was in some tiny Czech tea house that we got hooked on loose leaf tea. Three months later, we started making our own. Our professors and parents thought we were nuts, but a couple friends believed in us, blending tea in exchange for pizza and beer. Sounds like my kind of kids. Um, we're a tight knit crew that keeps it simple. It's natural loose leaf or natural loose leaf tea blends with real fruits and herbs. We tell you what matters, what it does for you, what it tastes like, and how to make it. So what's sh what's stopping you? Find your function, pick your flavor, and get ready to live loose. Don and Patrick. And this is steep tons black tea, 195 degrees, 3 to 5 minutes. Fruit tea, 208 degrees, 5 to 7 minutes. Herbal tea, 208 degrees, 5 to 7 minutes. So I probably didn't steep this long enough because this would be considered either a fruit, fruit or herbal tea. Yeah, this is a fruit tea, so it should be five to seven minutes. I think I steeped it about three to five minutes. That's another problem, perhaps, why I'm not tasting as many of the flavors is I didn't steep it long enough. So I will do that next time. And I also got kind of impatient because I want to try it here while I'm having my verbal happy dance. <laughs> Again, thank you very much, Mad Hatter Tea Review, Stephen and Maria, um, for the tea. Um, I, like I said, I will definitely use them in tea and pajamas. I have some other ones as well um, that you may or may not have tried, and I'll pop them up. But I'm going to start with the ones that you guys bought me first. So we, have, we still have the Earl Grey for me to share with all of you. Uh, and we will have this one again, obviously, and the Blueberry Wild Child. Plus, I have some teas that I've had for a while. <laughs> I keep tea for years. It's I'm silly that way uh, because once I, f I find uh, when when I buy tea, I find un off the, you know sometimes unusual ones. And if I can find regular ones, I buy them more often. But if they're unusual ones, I tend to wait and use them sparingly because I'm not sure if I'll be able to find them again. So I'm guessing we can wrap this up now. I was able to read the time earlier. Now I can't read it. Uh, it's 14. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. 14 minutes. So, um, again, would I recommend this to you? Yes, definitely would. Uh, next time I will steep it longer. Um, It does, um, it kind of reminds me a little bit, no, it's not a zinger tea, because the zinger teas from Celestial Seasoning go heavy, 
way too heavy handed with the hibiscus and that's pretty much all you taste. But you can taste the hibiscus in this and the rose hips and they, they, they bounce off of each other nicely because the rose hips aren't as strong as the hibiscus and the fruit flavors and the cinnamon round it out nicely. And it is, it's a nice, this is a, supposed to be a holiday tea, and I can understand that. I can see that. You could, I, I would sit and drink this um, Christmas morning, maybe, or New Year's morning. I don't know. Or any time, really, winter. <laughs> any time of winter or summer, I'll just, I'll drink it till it's gone. I'll just drink it all year round. But it is one that would be warm and cozy and something you would probably want in the winter um, in front of a fire if you have one, you know, curled up in a blanket, maybe a good book or whatever. Um, I'm rambling. I will let you guys go. Again, please like, and like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to see more random stuff. Um, don't drag and drive. Let the other monsters drive the hearse. Remember your reverse masquerade. It's going to be a little while longer. Hang in there, monsters. Um, I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye now.